Hey guys, it's me, Steph. I'm just gonna keep it quick. Um, so yesterday was Saturday. Um, I woke up early around six, no, 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 like 7.30 or 8, and then I was just chilling. I ate my leftover pasta that I cooked on Friday, and then I started to play Puppeteer on PlayStation 3. So that was interesting. I got to act two or starting act three and then after that i started working on the truffles that i was going to make for um my auntie edna's birthday party that was uh yesterday and i was making sorry my nose okay so i was um making oreo and oreo truffle original oreo truffles and then i was making lemon golden oreo truffles so that was like the next three hours and then i totally realized that I for that I didn't have enough white chocolate so I had to make a store run to the store to get white chocolate and then ended up going to um Dollar Tree and buying like one of those aluminum trays or whatever and let's see so we went to or so I did my truffles and then I the process took yeah so I made a lot I'll post a picture of them in a bit um then after that i walked trevor and cc and then i left my apartment around like 4 30 no, no like yeah like 4 30 to head down and then i got to i got to i got to my friend's house or i got to let's just say one of my baby i got in i thought i sense two people came after me but when i when i arrived so i got in and i brought the truffles and then sat down and broccoli beef um some fried egg rolls and uh there was um a buff buffalo wild wings chicken so I ate some of that and then um yeah I ate because I decided not to eat um beforehand and then I went or and then I had some fruit salad and that's when auntie busted out all the tequila she had a newly opened $80 bottle of Vitron she got tequila silver Kirkland and then she had a, a, a fresh new bottle of Hornitos. So after we ate, someone was already carry um someone already busted out the karaoke and they were singing. And then I was just catching up with Katie. And then after that's when everyone took their first shot, which was a shot of Patron. I try to avoid Patron at all costs, especially when I go out to drink because I can't do tequila. Tequila is the worst. But I actually didn't have a negative effect tonight on on Patron, which I mean, it's not gonna make me a reason to drink it all the time. But I think I did it moderately. I I, I drank with moderation, and then I ate enough where I didn't get fucked up like stupid fucked up at all, which was which was great. Um. So then I went to um. And so, first shot was Patron, and then after that, I had another shot of Patron, and then I had a, I had a margarita with Hornitos in, Horn, Hornitos, yeah, Hornitos, or Hornitos, I don't know, um, and I had another shot and another shot, basically I had like six shots, I believe, yeah, I had like six, six shots of Patron, and then I was like snacking in between, there was really, 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 hot avocado avocado or guac that I thought like I thought it was going to be like cool green sauce but no it was ridiculously hot guac and um yeah I ate that and then after I ate that I had more drinks and there were you know seeing the aunties dance and be crazy and listening to them karaoke is the best it is the absolute best 
I just had a good time and then me and Katie were catching up and we were talking to um, my auntie's co co-worker Rob so we, we had a good time just catching up and drinking and then, um, and then the party ended around 10 because both the birthday celebrants got <laughs> They both threw up, and that was <laughs> that was the rest of the night. Party was done. Um, yeah, so that ended around ten. But um, me and Kate just, you know, she's like baby sis, and we don't get to see each other that often. But we do try to talk a lot when we can. And I just got to catch up with her a lot. Me and her were just talking about life, what's been new, and she said the sweetest thing because, like, okay, so first of all, I've known her since she was like I've known her since 2003 so I've known her for 12 years now and I've seen her blossom and I'm so proud of her she has a one-year-old she is she's she's not she's 20 she has a one-year-old uh, she's a baby that just turned one Mason and he's the sweetest the cutest freaking baby ever I'm just like like I've I've seen her grow so like we were talking, and she basically admitted that, you know, she missed talking to me, and she really looks at me like her big sister. She doesn't have, she doesn't have a sister. It, like, that's just me. I'm her big sister, and, like, I've heard it from, um, I've heard it from Jordy that, like, you know, of course, like, Jordy tells me all the time, like, you know, you're her big sister. And it just meant so much more when Katie told me. And it was the sweetest thing. Because, like, it means, if anything, like, anyone can tell you, like, something. But it just means so much more when the right person or the person who you think, or when the right person tells you. Like, when the actual person that you, that they're talking about tells you personally that you're her big sister and she loves you for not judging her and oh my god it was the most cutest thing I had to hug her I was just like of course like like don't get me wrong like you know I, no I'm not perfect and I will judge but th for like the friends for who's closest to me like do you you know at the end of the day I will support you and what you want to do and I'll be there for you as much as I can you know like I got your back like if you do something I don't judge you that's your own freaking thing like I've I've grown or I've understood more now where I'm just like people are gonna do what they want to do and I know there's stuff that I'm gonna do and that nobody's ever gonna change that like I'm gonna just at the end of the day I'm gonna do what I want to do and yeah I, she was just telling me how, like, you know, she, I'm her big sister. And, of course, I was just like, oh, my God, I love you so much. So, yeah, I love her to death. And, um, yeah, we ended up going it. We ended up going back. At, like, we were talking for a while. And um, I ended up uh, putting away all the stuff because, like I told you, Auntie, Auntie was gone. <laughs> she was done. So I just, I didn't know where to put anything. So I just crammed everything into the fridge. And then after that, I, me and Kate went upstairs, and then I just slept in her room, and then I went back downstairs, and, um, what is that, my friend Ryan was, um, trying to look for something to eat, but I already put everything away, so then he, um, he just went to, uh, what do you call it, he went to, um, he went to go check the meatballs, and I totally forgot to, I totally didn't know to unplug the meatballs, so the meatballs in there, they were burnt to a crisp, so it was a good thing I went back to check that. And then, yeah, I ended up going to bed, I'm gonna say, like, one, and it was funny, because I was talking to Katie, and she was talking to me, and she knocked out, like, in the conversation of me explaining something, and she was just knocked out. And then I woke up at seven, because I really needed to pee. And then I went back to sleep and I woke up at 9 and that's when I was actually up, up. And then we basically just chilled downstairs. We caught up with Auntie. Obviously, she isn't hungover anymore, but she got sick. So we were just taking care of her. And then me and Kate went on a food run to get Mexican food. And I got me a California burrito, which was fucking delicious. Um, and then we went to 7-Eleven and we got iced coffee coffees and I like the seven I like I like the 7-eleven vanilla um 
uh, French vanilla or vanilla iced coffee. And I asked her which one she likes, if she likes vanilla or mocha. And then she told me she does a combination of both. So that's like my new thing. And I, I, I enjoy it. And then, um, after that we went, or after that we went back to the house, we hung out even more and then went to the mall and I bought toilet paper <laughs> and I got me another nose hoop. So I have this more changes, you know. I usually have my stud in, but sometimes I'd like to switch to a hoop. So did that, and then caught up some more, talked a lot more. Um, oh yeah, yesterday everybody enjoyed my truffles, so that was good. That was good. They enjoyed the different truffles I had. Yeah, mall happened, and then I caught up with Kate again. We were just hanging out, talking to her mom. I got to play with Mason, I got to carry him, and I experienced baby life for a little bit. And Mason likes to throw things and cry and whine. But it's so cool because, like, he does cry and he does whine. But he, like, he gets over it quickly. And that's the one thing I like about him. Um, yeah. And then I ended up leaving there around 7.30. So I got, well, 7.30, 8.30-ish. So I actually got home not too long ago. I got home around, like, 9-ish. And, yeah, I wanted to do a vlog first before I take a shower and disappear from the rest of the world so yeah that's all I really had to say about my weekend today's Sunday now um it's 9 30 right now and I have to be getting up early tomorrow so I'm gonna cut it off now and thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow